Yo, I got a new background. It's a collage of about roughly 120 of my favorite albums ever. So uh, yeah, I hope you like it. I hope it's not distracting. Uh, my thought was that since it's black and white and the album cover is going to be in color that it'll work just fine. So uh, yeah, I hope this serves my channel well because it took me way too fucking long. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into it. Mitski is a singer-songwriter in the indie pop, indie rock realm of music, with now, I believe, four other projects under her belt. The one of which really caught my eye was Puberty 2 back in 2016. The thing about that project was that it accentuated all of her strengths with this gritty, lo-fi rock edge that just ripped through your heart, and the piercing emotional potency of the vocal performances and the songwriting made it one of my favorite albums of that year. And on that, I felt like you could really sense her uncertainty in finding her place in the world, whether that be in a professional setting, in romantic relationships, or just overall the wall between who she feels like she's supposed to be and who she is. Now this, in comparison, incorporates a wider range of instrumentation. It's lavishly filled with strings and horns and pianos and driving guitars and some ambient parts as well. It's very cleanly produced and texturally rich but I feel like it's missing a component to it that conveys emotion in a genuinely flooring way. It comes across as a bit hollow when it's backed with vocal performances that although smooth and technically proficient, kind of lack unique charm and weight. Also, the song lengths on here are very brief, which I don't have a problem with unless the songwriting and instrumentation feels kind of flat and even generic in some places. Although there are some crescendos that do really punch you in the gut, like the one on Geyser, which builds anticipation very well after the very chilling beginning with the strings and the ambient parts and the pianos that slowly come in. Then a kick drum and some guitar riffs rip through it. The strings begin to sound all epic and triumphant. And I also love the song topic behind this being pursuing something that might not be good for you or your health, but at the end of the day, you just love it so much that you have to do it, it doesn't matter. I can also sense the crushing sadness she was going for on a pearl, where although she loves someone, she knows that pursuing a relationship with them would be good for neither person involved, but still, romantic feelings are begging to show their head, like where she says, sorry, I don't want your touch. It's not that I don't want you, it's just that I fell in love with the war. And on Remember My Name, I can sense that Mitski feels drained from giving so much of herself to people that she cares about with seemingly nothing in return, and it's backed by these gritty layers of guitars with different weights and textures that all come together very harmoniously. I also really like Nobody, a track with some disco and new wave influence. I really love the passionate vocal performance on this track, the epic climax, and the fact that it goes into a little bit more detail on loneliness, especially on that one line where she's like opening the window just to hear sounds of people to remind herself she's not the only person in the world. That's pretty fucking lonely. Pink in the Night I've come around to as well. I love the enchanting ambience on this track, the way the acoustic guitars slide over it, as well as the kick drum. And lyrically it's simple, but I think Mitski's vocal performance as well as the weight of the instrumentation makes it feel like a big moment for the record. I feel pretty similarly about Two Slow Dancers, although that's more of a piano ballad with some subtle textures worked in. And I love the metaphor on Washing Machine Heart. There are so many layers to this, they keep going around and around in the relationship, she constantly cleans him up, he's like chucking bad energy into her life and she's just like, whatever. It has this persistent grimy bass, these hand claps and drums, some rich sophisticated strings, it sounds quite triumphant, although the subject matter is kind of worrying, it's like she's confidently throwing her body into fire. However, tracks like Old Friend and Me and My Husband and Come Into the Water and A Horse Named Cold Air kind of breeze by like it's nothing, the instrumentation is a bit flat and stale. They're so general and vague that it hurts, and Lonesome Love is pretty much just dominated by an overused chord progression on an acoustic guitar, and although I know what she was trying to do at the base of the songwriting here, not even a line like this could leave an impression on me just based on how quick in and out it is. So basically with a singer-songwriter project like this, it's essential to develop your own unique voice and charm that makes you stand out among the thousands of other singer-songwriters singing about the same topics over maybe at times rich but very predictable instrumentation, and I just don't really feel like Mitski does that on Be The Cowboy. Which sucks because I was rooting for her and I love this project, but I don't really feel like I can give it more than a 6. So yeah, uh, thanks so much for watching this review anyway. Uh, if you want to subscribe that would be great. Maybe check out some of my other reviews if you're feeling nice, and yeah, I'll see you soon.